All right. Wow. It, it amazes me every single time. Every time. <clears throat> when there's a bunch of you guys here. All right. So I want to say what's up to Miguel. I want to say what's up to Eric uh, from uh, Varacha Barbecue. How's everybody doing? Give me one moment to try to catch up. All right. So Miguel wants to talk about fish. What exactly about fish you want to talk about? So I can tell you as far as fish, uh, I primarily uh, smoke salmon um, and I hot smoke it. So it's not like a cold smoke, like a lox, but I hot smoke it. So, and I love the salmon. I actually have salmon uh a video of me using salmon cooking cooking a trigger cooking salmon on the trigger uh <clears throat> swordfish never done any swordfish um you guys can hear i'm a little congested so i'm actually not drinking anything i'm drinking water tonight i might actually get up at some point and make some tea have you smoked swordfish and shark Uh, I just have water. All right, so let me try to see. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so Eric from uh, Baracho Barbecue, he says, I want to cater more jobs, but I've already spent enough of my own money. Uh, did you pay out of pocket for your Cambro and all of your buffet trays and set up? So, Eric, this is, uh, this is one of those things. And I, I mentioned the barrier to entry. Videos popping up, notifications popping up. So the barrier to entry is what's going to pretty much get you down. Uh, I can tell you when I was first starting, my business sustained itself. And then anytime I got a big catering job, I would take profit from that catering job and buy something. So the first time I catered the event at my work and I had, it was like 500 people and they paid me to do they paid me to do like 100 pounds of pork and 60 pounds of chicken. Uh, I can tell you that was like, it was a pretty good payday. It was, it was like a $3,000 payday, close to. And on that job, I bought one of the refrigerators that's out there. And like, I realized during that cook that I was not going to have enough space to store everything. I went out, found a refrigerator on Craigslist while I was cooking, went out and bought it, brought it home, set it up, and prayed that it worked. And it has been working out in my garage for four years now. The white refrigerator is the one that I bought off of Craigslist off 400 bucks. Um, I also realized that I was not going to have enough room or I was not going to be able to uh, take everything with me. If I didn't have Cambros. So like as soon as they paid for the order. I ordered a Cambro. And I was like okay I'm not. Because I was like figuring out how much meat I was going to have. And I'm like there's no way I'm going to be able to carry it. Um, I'm going to say hi to you guys. As I kind of get through. Uh, but I ordered a Cambro. Like a week before the event. And then I ordered the second Cambro. That came in like a day or two before the event. Um, and they were like $300 each. 250 $300 each. And the whole thing was, I had the profit. So it wasn't a big deal for me to go ahead and, and get those things. So sometimes it just takes getting, saying yes to that big catering job. To be able to have some, some you know, some, some not throw around money. But to have some profit for you to be able to. To throw at some equipment. Hopefully that helps, Eric. I know it's it's difficult. That the and it, put it like this also. That doesn't even include the fact that I had already spent money on buying the big smoker. Like that that just 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 put, to keep that into perspective. I had sold a motorcycle in order to get that big smoker. And in order to get Bessie, I sold a motorcycle. Um, and one of the best investments I ever made. I bought the, the motorcycle for a couple hundred bucks and I sold it for over a thousand. And then I had to put some money towards it and then I was able to put to, to get Bessie. So alright. Alright, so let me try to catch up on these comments. Uh 
Oh, wow. All right, let me try to say hi to everybody. So, you ain't ready. I know Dog Father Barbecue. I, I, you know, <laughs> Miguel. Yep, it is time. I'm sure it would probably be too much for you to put in a video, but it would be cool to have a indictable buffet catering uh, setup while doing an actual job, but maybe a stage setup video. Do you mean like a live video? I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm missing it. Torgi, how you doing, man? Tom, how's everything? Tom. I, I want to take a moment to thank Tom. Tom, hold on. So, I don't know. Tom sent me some pickle seasoning. I figured maybe uh, the kids and I can work that out. And then he also sent me... Uh, I've been waiting to open this up. I mean, I know the, basically that it's a cigar, but I've been waiting. Sean, how you doing? Oh man, we got a little Macanudo. Oh yeah, oh man. I can't really smell anything right now. My nose is kind of clogged up. Nice. Got a little Macanudo. And there's a, we got a big Johnny here. Let's see, what's this one? Oh, man. It's a Spirit de Cuba. Oh, boy. Again, I can't smell anything. Can you hear me? All congested and clogged up here. I'm going to put these back into the bag. These are going with me on the cruise next week. I am going to enjoy these, Tom. Thank you so very much. That was awesome. All right, so let's see. Torgi, what's going on? Eric, uh... Oh, Eric, uh, as far as the... I don't really... I don't have any of those chafing dishes. Those things are expensive. They're like $25 a pop. And the most things I've had set up was like 12 racks. The, you know, of course, the, the, you might have a job where I might set up one. But I don't have any of those. What I end up doing is buying the racks and the pans. The racks can get expensive. But what I end up doing is I will charge whatever the fee is for the food. And then I will charge... Um, Delivery and setup, and that setup fee. I try to have that setup fee be fifty dollars or ten percent, whichever is uh, greater. Uh, so usually anything under five hundred dollars, the setup and delivery fee is going to be fifty bucks as a start, and then anything more than five hundred dollars, it's going to be ten percent, and that ten percent is going to go towards paying for the chafing, not chafing dishes, but for the pans, the racks, and the warmers. So hopefully that helps. All right, Jim, how you doing? I'm so sorry, guys. I might, I'm gonna make some tea in a second. Uh, party twenty Samoans. Yeah, it's about fifty. <laughs> you might be right, uh, Eric. Jim, I said hi. T. Crunk, what's going on? Joaquin, how you doing, man? I was down in your area on Monday. I really wish I could have hit you up, but man, it was a turn and burn. I, I. You got you. You'll see it in a, in a week or so. I picked up some pinball machines and man, I was I was getting it. All right, let's see. Hey yo, Alex, how you doing, man? Alex, I should invite you over, and we should sit and you could provide some beer and you know we could talk barbecue. I actually want to to try and do some sort of not live. But a, uh, you know, talk to one of you guys or, or 
have one of you guys sit in and be more or less like a co-host. I don't know. For these live streams, <clears throat> I'm going to apologize again. I feel like I sound horrible. <laughs> oh, hell no, Joaquin. I'm, I'm not cooking no road. Nothing. Uh, Dave Murphy, how you doing, man? It's been a minute. I feel like Dave hasn't been on in a while. It's, it's so fun to see familiar faces and well, usernames, I guess you could say. Uh, Lou Kalamatis, you know, it, it, it really is cool. And I really do appreciate you guys who hang out in the comments, who comment on videos, ask questions, who are active in in my little community, in our community. And doing it on, you know, coming in on the live streams, it just, it's, it's just that much. It's cool, man. It really is. Ash Boogie, how you doing? Uh, Lou, I said hi to you. Uh, what editing software do I use? Um, so, the editing software, I use a software. It's called um, Corel Video, uh, Corel Ultimate Video or something like that. But I'm not, I'm, I'm actually not very happy. Uh, I had an issue with using a multi camera editor. And I am honestly, I'm, I'm going to be looking for a new video editing software. I, I've used this software for probably four or five years. And it hasn't let me down. But I tried to. that. The video I did recently when I trimmed the brisket and I had the two camera set up, it took me three days to edit that video. And not only did it take me three days to edit that video, when I contacted Corel for, for support, they had me reset my software like back to the default settings and stuff. So I lost all of the like little clips and the like shortcut stuff and like my links. And it's, it's when I say I started from ground from, from zero again, oh, I am not happy with the way that the person was like, oh, you have to press this and that and then that'll reset it to default. She's like, Make sure you back everything up. My Well, my files are saved, man. She's like, okay, then go ahead and do it. I do it, and it's like, this is going to reset everything back to default. So all of the little little clips, like the the little uh, the SpongeBob clips, I had them all in a folder, in a file, and like the I had a working folder of like clips that I would use and, and move into an active video every now and again, and like, my music clips that were set to a specific audio level, like my titles, my, oh my gosh, man, it was all over again. All right, enough of that. Uh, uh, man, Lou, sorry to hear that, man. I, I know all about it. I, I do. Uh, so, uh, you ain't ready. Also, in the in the video descriptions, uh, I talk about my camera setup. Uh, so I, I listed it down there. I have a Sony, and it's upstairs actually, but I have a Sony. All right, let's see. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to catch up. Uh, <laughs> Alex, I know you'd bring the beer. <laughs> Traeger's name is Tracy. You must not have watched the first video. At the end of the video, I said, you know what? It's going to be Tracy. Screw it. Tracy it is. All right. Uh, Jermaine, how you doing? I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to catch up on the comments. Let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Okay, Tom. Well, you know what? I'm down to try it. I know, I know. We we've we've got a bunch going on in the next couple weeks. So, uh, we're going to the Bahamas. We're going to the Bahamas. Next best thing. How you doing, man? Ah, uh, what did I do? Next best thing. I did uh some beef ribs. The video on the beef ribs will be coming out next week. Um and. I used some more of that rub that you sent me. I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you again. Sean, I think I said hi to you. Yep, Joe's Barbecue House said he had to sell his ATV to be able to afford the smokers he haven't built. Uh, <laughs> Torgi, you're absolutely correct. When I said I was making tea, 
I was trying to figure out what I was going to mix in it. But uh, I'm trying to... Marcus, how you doing, man? Marcus uh, was one of my... Remember I told you guys that I, I, I did barbecue part-time for a year in 2014? And I would take uh, food to my coworkers. Marcus was one of the coworkers of mine who... Uh, who uh, would... I, he was a, he was a guinea pig basically. Let's put it that way. Uh, but uh, before I forget, everybody take a moment and wish Marcus well. He's going to be going in for some surgery, uh, major surgery, in, uh I think he said the fifteenth. Marcus, I, I try to remember. Hopefully, I remember. Uh, but wish Marcus well. Uh, yeah, eighteen. All right. No, I wasn't going to put your business all the way out there, but Marcus said he's having cancer surgery next week. I told him to kick cancers, but that's not what I said. But, you know, for the live stream, I have to keep it PG. Uh, perfect draft barbecue blower yet. I have not tried any barbecue blowers other than I had a uh, a barbecue guru, and I used it in in the uh in vicky when i originally got vicky and it, it wasn't big enough it wasn't enough it wasn't pushing enough uh cfm at all and uh it didn't work out let's see let's see golly it's like no comment no comment 100 count <laughs> all right let's see Goodness. Oh my gosh, Joaquin. Sorry. Power director and also been told Adobe Premiere is a good one too. But Adobe is like <sighs> Adobe is there's a lot in Adobe. A lot. Thank you, Blue. <laughs> I just saw some of the comments just saying bless you and salute. <laughs> when the comments roll faster than I'm actually looking at them, because I have my phone here, and this is where I do the live streams from, but I see the comments kind of rolling in, and I'm on my laptop over here actually trying to watch the comments because I can slow them down and stop them. So if I'm on my phone, I have to keep, and you guys can't see it because I try to have the camera is over here and I'm my hand is over here off of the screen and I am scrolling up and down through the messages um, so that I can uh, try and, and and talk to you guys. So I figured I'd have my laptop up. Only problem is now I'm talking to the side or I'm looking this way. And so I'm going to try to get back to here. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I still haven't figured it out yet. All right, so Darian, I think if I haven't already, uh, what's going on, man? It was good talking to you today. You know, though you had me going, I'm like, Darian, you get your shirt yet? He's like, oh, man, no, I need to find somebody to design it. And I'm like, didn't you order a shirt for me? He's like, oh, oh, yeah, I did. No, I haven't gotten it yet. I'm like, ah. dude, had me going. All right, so let's see here. Let me catch up. Gosh, I'm like all off tonight. I apologize. All right, Alex. Yeah, we might have to. We might have to talk, dude. Because uh, I know you're local, and you know, I'd be down to sit and chop it up with somebody. I really uh, want to. So, Brian, if I haven't said hi to you, man. Hello, Questa J. How you doing? Uh, how far am I from the harbor? Like ten minutes, if that. Uh. The thing about Baltimore, well, I, I'm about 10 minutes from the harbor. Let's put it that way. Went to Houston, Austin, barbecue during the past weekend. It was lit. <laughs> A wild car from Longview. Oh, really? That's what's up. Cancer surgery. Yes. Mark, cancer surgery for Marcus. Yes, yes, yes. Please, please, please keep Marcus in your thoughts. Uh, definitely. Mr. J, I remember, no, it was somebody else that commented that they were uh, watching my videos and, and, and someone said that they, they, they found me 
while recovering from their surgery. And I was just like, man, that, that is awesome. Yeah, I tried the Cosmos rub. I, I have cooked with it a couple times, man. You got to go back and look at the videos. I, I just, I don't always put, make a video when I'm cooking with something like that. Just for ease of me trying something new. Um, <laughs> George, I wish I had some hot turkey. Actually, you know, it's funny. My wife made a uh, turkey soup. Did I do that? How did I do that turkey? I can't remember. I did the turkey. I did the turkey on the Traeger, I guess. Um, but I didn't film any of it now that I think about it. But she took and uh, she made a turkey noodle soup and it was really good. Adobe is expensive, yep, and a serious investment and time to learn how to use it. I couldn't agree with Chuck for any more. Am I going to film while I'm on vacation? Hopefully not. <laughs> I uh, I probably will film just for like the family memory type stuff, but I don't think I'm going to be doing a video about it. But then again, you never know. Jay Roder, what's going on? I am I am definitely, dude. Who you telling, Carlo? My trip is coming up this this weekend. Jack, how you doing? I need to check the mail. Yes, Joaquin, you do. Hot seat cooking with CJ. No, I've never heard of it. But if y'all put me down or you know put me into it, I I mean, if as long as it's not gonna be, cause any pain or anything or hurt, why not? Manny, how you doing, man? Picking up a boat this weekend on the Potomac. Okay, well, unfortunately, I am gonna be occupied this weekend. Show dog father said he just got another shipment from Cosmos today. Uh, Tom said the shirts came in. They were heavy cotton and really nice. Yes. Yep. <sighs> Sitting in the chair for seven hours. <laughs> uh, Quest of J. Did you? I, I think there's one. There's someone else that told me that they had just finished. I think. I don't know. They, it, it could very well be you, but I, I swear I think there was someone else like and I don't know if it was someone that maybe commented on an Instagram post or what, but maybe it's issue. But Quest of J, man, I'm I'm I am uh definitely, you know, happy that you found my videos and, and I have been giving you something to do. Little old me. <laughs> um I have been wanting to try as far as editing video, uh, video editing software. I've been wanting to give Sony Vegas a try again, or whatever it's called now. Again, just don't really want to pay for it. So, I'm, I'm. This is just water. Like, I feel like I need to hydrate. And I, I am, I am going to get up soon and make some tea. TD, that's what's up, man. Thank you so very much for hanging out and watching. Anthony. All right. So Anthony said he found me because he was laid up recovering from a knee surgery. Uh, a live Q&A every Thursday. T-Roy and, and uh, Baby Back Maniac, Maniac are on it this week. Okay. Da Vinci Resolve. Huh. <laughs> then you stalked me on Facebook. Yes. I do remember that. Yeah, I know T-Roy. I don't necessarily agree with everything he says or does. So, that's all I'm going to say about that. Cooking with CJ had uh, Michael. Oh. Nice. I know I don't want to drink though. Uh, Preston said when I when I I won't say I don't want to drink. I just I know I'm already tired, <laughs> uh, 
last week when I was I was drinking beer, Preston was like, dude, you should stick to beer. He's like, you're less sleepy when you're drinking beer. And I'm like, eh, most of the time I'm sleepy because I'm sleepy, not because I'm been drinking, not because I'm drinking. I'm trying to get this camera with my phone set up right. Blackjack Oak. No, didn't know that was a thing. Lou, that's what's up. Medicinal purposes only. Oh, you know what? Speaking of medicinal purposes, my wife brought me back some medicine liquor from when she was in Africa. So my wife went to Ghana for work, and this is a uh, Origin Bitters, and it says that it's a spirit drink with herbal extracts, and then this is this Herb Bitters, and do I have a, nope, let's get a glass. Oh man, Rob, I do too, man. Huh. We're going to do this, uh, got a little sniffer here, snifter, snifter, I don't know, what is this, what is this type of glass called, snifter? <laughs> Jay Rudery, man, take your time, ooh, smells like medicine, that's what it smells like, I'm just going to do a little teeny bit, and we're going, we're going to see what it does. Jack says, don't drink that too late. So, it really is medicine-y. Hair on the chest, sorry. Just a little, little bit of taco meat already there. Cheers, Tom. Uh, no, Miguel. I'm chilling. <laughs> Here he's showing them BBs. <laughs> BBs. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Bouncing off the walls. Nah. This is actually. Oh. This is definitely medicine y. And uh, 30% alcohol by volume. So, what is that? 15 proof? Oof, it, it is really medicine-y. Uh, spirit made from quality ingredients and infused with African herbal extracts. And it, it tastes herby, like it, it medicine-y. Like there's no other way to talk to say it. Bro, OJ, all right, so let's see. Uh, J. Rudy says, work and plan to move to Arizona. Got me working like a man. <laughs> What is to buy a home? So it's definitely worth it, man. Definitely worth it. Uh, real estate and investments and, and, you know, doing things to get things. Yeah. Uh, Mark Cabello, or is it Cabello? Uh, love your videos. Very informational. Helped me out a bunch since I just self-taught and trial and error. Oh, man, that's what's up. He said, I have a subscriber for life. What would it take? Oh, I don't even want to know. Never mind. I'm going to say Man needs to just real OJ, ginger tea, Dayquil, water, and sleep. And I'll be good. Uh, real OJ. Ah, no, no OJ. I have cranberry juice upstairs. Um, ginger. Oh, you know what? We, I might. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, man. There's a little bit of mold on my ginger 
But I bought some ginger a while back. I might have to cut this up and... So I guess it's the opposite way. Chuck says a 60 proof wellness formula. I think I might make some ginger tea. Uh, uh the party went well. Uh, we, I, I got sick actually. Uh, I don't know. I got something, something in the stomach just wasn't right and ended up straight. Uh, okay. So I had it uh, backwards, Chuck. Thanks. All right, so let's see. Uh, Robert, I love it. Robert Neely. Like Neil, like the Neelys, the cooking Neelys? I can't remember what the husband from the Neelys. Oh, man, this one. Oh, this one really smells medicine-y. I forgot what these things taste like. <laughs> She's definitely cool. She's definitely cool. Oh my gosh. I don't know why we start talking about herbs and liquor and stuff. <laughs> but you know the Neely I'm talking about. Uh, Traeger is lovely. Uh, it'll do the job. Yeah, Manny, I know. <laughs> My woman friends drink noni juice. It tastes horrible, but it works. Oof. <laughs> All right, so this one. Oh, I can already smell. This one's got some way more bitter. That's like, duh, it's got, it's got bitters. Like it, it just smells bitter. And this one is a uh, it's herb Afrique. Uh, it says gin bitters. Uh, all right, so it says uh, ethyl alcohol, purified water, gin extracts. Then it says plant extracts. I can't even pronounce this. And this one is 40% 40, uh, 40 alcohol by volume. So that makes it 80 proof. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, you ain't ready, man. I know. Shoot. That like I, so like I commented so you ain't ready and I have been going back and forth for, or, uh, all right so what is your name is it I mean is it is it an Eric are you another Eric or something I don't know but I don't mind referring to you as you ain't ready but he has now put me D to his channel that is Dog Father Barbecue all right. Mm. I refuse to make the henny face. I refuse to make the henny face. You know what the henny face is. All right. So, oh, crap. There's the henny face. Ugh. All right. So, the whole thing about that brisket that I trimmed up, I normally try to get about a 15-pound brisket. But um, I needed 10 pounds. No, I needed a whole brisket for her. And I wasn't going to do her dirty. When I was in a store, I found like 13, like low 13 pound briskets. And I found that 17 pound brisket. And I said, you know, this lady has, has always done me good. You know, she's referring people to me all the time. I'm going to go ahead and get her a bigger brisket than, than I, know I would like to. And sure enough, when I got it home, I could just tell it was going to be nothing but fat. And you guys saw when I trimmed it. It was a lot of fat. Uh, yeah. Tom, I know, man. I must have a great wife. Yes, indeed, I do. She puts up with my crap. Eric Moreno. Oh, man, my hand is getting cold. Hope, Hopefully, you guys. Oh, man. Hopefully, you guys, you know, can, can understand. My head is getting cold, so I had to put it, put a hat on. 
<laughs> Electric Kool Aid. Oh, yeah, buddy. Buy two 13s and keep the extra. Nah, man. Because then that means having to cook two 13 pound briskets. Sometimes it's easier to just cook one brisket than it is to cook two. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. Looking into getting the Snake River brisket, man. That's that's what's up. <laughs> Mark, you might have to you I know you kind of new here, but you might have to read between the lines if you keep talking stuff like that. <laughs> Yo, man, we're not even gonna talk about it. Yo, I know, trust me, I was scared, screaming at the screen. I'm like, yo, come on, what are you doing? All right, Robert, that's what's up. No, it isn't. Trust me, I had two little teeny shots that's not doing anything. No, I'm just messing with Eric. <laughs> this, is what, this is what we do. This is why we are friends, Eric and I. Yes, Tom. <laughs> All right. I'll let it go. <laughs> All here in Brokeback Cowboys country. He said he can't stand them fools. All right. So I guess let's see what my, my kitchen doesn't. We don't look too bad in the kitchen. My son just needs to do the dishes. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to set you guys up to be able to watch. I'm not really watch because I'm going to be doing it over here. I'm cutting up this ginger and I'm going to make myself some tea. Oh, man, I'm trying to. How you doing? Oh, man. I'm trying to. So I have some ginger here. And I'm going to cut off the bad part, and then I'm going to shave it, and we're going to go from there. So, these knives that I got off of Amazon, these kind of like throwaway knives, they are still crazy sharp, in case anyone wanted to know. And they're working. Oh, man, this ginger smells so good. Manny, yo, good looking or rec rem uh, reminding me or making me think about this ginger, like, for real. Uh, uh oh, I hear one of the taste testers coming sneaking down the stairs. Hi! It's my littlest taste tester. You want to say hi to everyone? Hi. <laughs> taste tester number three. Okay, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> uh,. What's funny, I call it a little bit too, excuse me. Uh, I need the vegetable peeler. Do you know where the vegetable peeler is? I don't even think you know what it is. Yeah, I was just about to say, do you even know what that is? This is not it. What does it look like? It looks like the vegetable peeler. <laughs> I know. Uh, I think I'm just going to slice this off here. Why are you down here? She is a cutie. <clears throat> Why are you down here? Can I get something to eat? Get something to eat. You ate. I'm making myself some tea. So I'm cutting, cutting off the skin of the ginger. It would be so much easier if I had what I needed. Why can't I find what I needed? The brothers aren't putting stuff back where it needs to be. What's the the horrible thing is, I excuse me, I know I have another one in the basement. One of my friends gave me some cooking tools not too long ago, and I have like. Two or three, almost anything that you can need in the kitchen. It's rather ridiculous. Oh, man, 
Let me check the dishwasher. Why are you down here? Come on, go ahead on upstairs to bed, little girl. Good night. I didn't hear you. No, you can't have that. It's like nine o'clock. It's just almost yes. ten. Yes. It's time for you to go to bed. All right. I can't find it. So I'm just gonna cut away the outside of this. Slice it up. And I'm going to have some ginger tea. Alright, so there is my ginger pretty much peeled. And I'm going to slice it up. <clears throat> Hot water. Darn it. I said I was going to start the water and then I got distracted by a little girl. Hot water's gone. Let's see here. I'll tell her you guys said hi. Man, who are you telling? I definitely wanted the Eagles to win. <laughs> we're not even oh man we're not even talking about the the fact that yes the Eagles won the Super Bowl but you know what they're they're back to being the typical Eagles like seriously they're back to being the Eagles <sighs> Chuck says making videos makes him watch the dishes <laughs> YouTube Inc that's my neighbor what YouTube Inc. Is that serious? Like, you do really? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> Injection or not for a brisket? Nah, I don't inject anything. I'm not one to inject inject anything. On some, I I don't I don't like doing injections. Uh, I I just don't. I'm gonna keep it simple. Let me get a mug. <laughs> this is one of my favorite mugs. My wife got this for me. It says, "I can't believe how much I'm not sick of you." She got this for me for Valentine's Day a while back. Uh, I hate that all. Yep. Nobody has played a flawless game this year, unfortunately. Um, and like it's cats that are playing to the you know the caliber, the true caliber that's required of an NFL team, and there's other teams that are not. I mean, look at the Eagles. The Eagles record should should not be what it excuse me what it is, but it really it is. Cowboys will win the division and then went out in the playoffs to make Super Bowl. Eric, sure. I don't bet on things that I can't control. Definitely, uh, don't forget the phrase hot sauce. Put that on everything. I'm not putting hot sauce in here just just to show you guys. <laughs> But I am going to load this cup up with, with lots of ginger. I am. I like the ginger. Oh. Sounds like my hot water is almost ready, but not yet. <clears throat> Thank you guys for hanging out with me, even though I'm a little under the weather. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm going to cut a little bit more of this bark off of this ginger. I can get more into this mug. And Man, 
this tea is about to be great. Ginger tea. And I'm sure I'm not gonna put anything in it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Alright. Ginger. I can't remember whose turn it is to do the dishes, but oh looks like taste testing number two. His test number one's num name is up on the fridge. Alright, no one plays flawless. Yep, you're right. Uh, Eric says, sounds like Chiefs fans out here in Kansas City play those every year, but they never make it. Exactly. Alright. The water's almost at a boil. I'm just going to take it off a second early. I know you guys don't really want to hear it. <clears throat> I might have to add some Splendor to this. Oh, man. Win in this franchise. Who is the win in this franchise? I don't even know that stat. Is it the Cowboys? It can't be. Eh, Mark, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. So fans, Dallas are always America's team, and there are people talk about the greatest teams. Dallas, oh no, all right. How oh, Joaquin says, guess what was in the mail today? I don't know. Did you get a check from Publishers Clearinghouse? <laughs> oh, shoot. I need to get... Sorry, you guys are in the light. Carolyn! A spoon to be able to stir up my ginger. And do I need to sweeten it? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. I'm going to take you guys in a second. All right. Some yellow packs. Ooh. Coffee. I mean, it's, it's hot, hot, hot. Okay. Almost back. I need to be able to put this down. Work phone. Perfect. Perfect coaster. Let's see here. Okay. Joaquin, that's what's up. I'm glad to hear you got your shirt. Rams and the Chiefs. I need on our. Yeah. Don't mind me. Put this directly down on the table, so I gotta find something to put this on. All right, Tom. Thanks again for sending the cigars. Hi. Yep, I am. I just made some ginger tea. Uh, yep, ginger tea. That's exactly what I am drinking. Man, this tea does smell good. <laughs> I love that you guys are talking amongst yourselves. Mmm. Wow, this is good. Ah, I think you're right. The, Patri the Patriots probably are the, the most winning. Uh, franchise Bumpy, how you doing? 
Pat Dallas and the 49ers have five. Pittsburgh has six. Steelers, I don't know. I think the Patriots might be, I don't know. I think even though the Patriots have six, or excuse me, the Patriots have five Super Bowls, they've been to the Super Bowl more times than Pittsburgh has. Mark, thank you very much for hanging out. Greatly appreciate it. What's on the menu for Christmas? Uh, I don't know yet. How do you manage your time when you have a business cook and cater? You sleep less. Easy answer. Um, it's, it's hard to deal with the fact that, I mean, like right now, I get up most mornings at 4 15 4 30 and on a morning like a wednesday in order for me to try to grow my youtube channel and and you know I, that's why i do this live stream and for me to grow the youtube channel i have to i'm gonna lose a little bit of sleep I me mean, me editing the videos i'm gonna lose a little bit of sleep uh me cooking for catering jobs guess what i'm gonna lose a little bit of sleep but that's what what is necessary? Huh. <laughs> Manny, I hope so. All right, so you ain't ready. He says, okay, question here. I, I see you barbecue in your garage. Where the hell does the smoke go? So if you're running a smoker properly, you are not going to have a whole bunch of thick, white, bellowing smoke. So there is thick white bellowing smoke that comes out of the smokers for a few moments. But usually it dies off within, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, now with Bessie, the way Bessie is set up, um, I, I do have a piece of a six inch pipe. There's a 90, a six inch 90 to a four foot section. And that four foot section goes directly out of that window or what's left of a window. Uh, and the only thing you can see when I have that fire going, once it's going, is, um, only thing that you can see is steam. And you see a, a, a like a, a rising bit of steam. So, yeah. Now, if I'm using Vicky and or uh, last time I used Bernadette, the smoke just kind of goes out into the garage. And the last time I used Bernadette, I actually bought a small fan. And I put it on top of Bernadette and pointed it out of the garage and helped move some of the smoke out of the garage. I don't necessarily like doing that because what ends up happening is more people can see the smoke that way. Uh, and the likelihood of the fire department getting called is much higher. <laughs> Never forget the top rule. <laughs> They cheated. The pay, the past cheated. Uh, what's the first gonna? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eric, you know me long. You know me. Am I the only one that has to do cold and hot? Like I can't just do straight hot beverages. I always have to have a cold beverage as well. You know me. What do you think the first thing I cooked on the trigger was? I do need to push for 10K. Uh, <laughs> uh, Miguel, tell him again. Shake hams for Christmas party Friday and then the tips. Um, so, Bumpy, I don't cook hams. I don't smoke hams because usually uh, they're already pre-smoked. So, for the most part, if you're getting one that's already smoked, all you have to do is warm it up. Uh, oh, Eric, I'm not a Pats fan. Eric, what, what do I always say? The, the first thing you should cook on a new smoker or a grill is. <sighs> yep, I cooked chicken thighs uh, on the trigger. That was the first cook. So, you, you know, time flies. I had that trigger already for two weeks. I don't know how, but... Uh, 
yeah, I've had a trigger already for two weeks. And has it been two? Yeah, it's been two weeks. I did not do any baking, Quester J, sorry. No oxtails. <laughs> Maybe posted a picture. An emoji of chicken. Yes. So I'm actually just finished editing the, the first cook video. And they turned out great. All right. You guys. You guys are getting a sneak peek here. Eric, I don't recognize any other team in the NFC East as being great. Aside from the Eagles. So, do I recognize who as being great? No, I don't. Yes. Um, and so I've done four cooks on the trigger already. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm having to space these videos out so I can have some content while I'm not able to produce content so I'm doing them ahead of time uh, so I have a video of me doing the initial you know like the the burn-in uh, video then I cooked some chicken thighs I cooked some beef ribs I cooked some salmon I cooked uh, I did salmon then I did there's something else I feel like I did something else Salmon, now the chicken wings. I think those were the four cooks. So I've done two hot and fast cooks, or hot, fast cooks, and I've done two lower and slower cooks. So, <clears throat> yeah. But those four videos you guys will see over the next, like, two weeks. <sighs> you know, it's funny. Uh, Eric, I have uh, I, I have a friend who's a Redskins fan, and he posted a picture, and it says something along the lines of uh, Cowboys fans digging up like highlights from their last Super Bowl, and he was holding a VHS tape. Not throwing shade. It's funny because it's true. An organization. <laughs> Mm. I underestimated ginger tea. I'm feeling that the, the you know the warm. It's definitely feeling better. All right, so um, tomorrow's video will be the uh, burn in of the trigger. Next Tuesday's video will be the first cook on the trigger. Now. I have some other, like I, I have, I've been putting in work recently doing some filming so that I would have content for you guys. All right. Anybody want to see a sneak preview of the first cook video? Say I. I know we've been talking about football, but would anyone like to see a sneak preview? Yes. Anyone like to see a sneak preview? <laughs> okay. So let's get to the point where. Oh, so there's me seasoning it. And Tyler's not on right now, but I use Tyler's seasoning. Remember Tyler sent me the, the seasoning? Uh, shoot, it's been like a month ago now. But the night he, uh, when I opened it up and he gave me some, uh, let's see.
So that was like three quarters of the way through the cook because here's where it ends. And I'm pulling the, the chicken off. But let's see here. I'm trying to do this through the, Leaving a couple pieces the stream. On so it can stay warm while I let my kids the chicken. I'm gonna turn it down though. So I know it's been a minute since you've seen these guys, but these are my taste testers. There's taste tester number one, taste tester number two, and taste tester number three. All right, guys, so let's taste this chicken. All right. Now this chicken so. was <clears throat> with uh... All right, so. I want to do a couple more cooks before I, I start telling you things I like and don't like. I figure that number is probably going to be 10. Um, so I'm, I'm telling you now, I'm really, like, you'll be able to see some of the stuff. Uh, yeah. You'll be able to see um, some of the differences. I use the... The Pit Boss, uh, what was that, Fruit Flavor, something like that, Fruit Medley, I don't know. I was so excited when I got it. Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, I was so excited when I got it that I went ahead and just, like, I got the first pellets I could get my hands on. So I bought a 30-pound bag of these Pit Boss pellets and... Uh, crazy enough, uh, I'm the what's left in the hopper is all I have left. Uh, you guys are an hour away from each other. Uh, Jack used to sell Chuck a truck or something. You've gotten rid of that 300Z already, I'm sure. Or the what, 350Z or 370Z? Which one did you have, Jack? <laughs> All right. So that video just finished editing, uh, actually rendering, and I'm going to uh, let's get that uploaded to YouTube. Video. The whole thing is I, I wanted to try and have videos for you guys for next week when I wasn't going to be able to post videos. So I'm trying to get ahead. Uh, like I said, <laughs> man, are you funny? All right, Joaquin. <laughs> are you sleeping in your shirt tonight, Joaquin? <laughs> Yeah, definitely filming on my Sony. I've been filming on my Sony, like, for a year. Only thing I do... <laughs> Joaquin, that's funny. Only thing I do on my phone is the live streams. Uh, yeah. Huh. Just got a Z28. Wow. That's what's up, man. Jack, I wish I was in a position to, you know, flip cars. I could do it. It's just, ah, uh, Maryland sucks. Preston, how you doing? Yeah, it's rather chill. I'm, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent. You feel I'm, sound? I'm a little congested. I just made some ginger tea, so, yeah. Ah. Uh. Eric, have a good evening. Chicken bone broth. All right. Wow, shoot. Unfortunately, you know, my daggone kids, they've been hacking. They were hacking over the weekend. And then, of course, now I'm, I got it. All right, so tomorrow, the video that's going up, that'll go live, is the... Uh, the setup and seasoning, the initial setup and seasoning of the trigger. 
So watch it. I you know what I really don't know, Tom. Uh I don't It's it's kind of funny, Tom. Like I've done like I I did that whole uh seasoning. I let it go for an hour and it I feel like it didn't use much, like an inch, an inch and a half of pellets. But the way the hopper is, like it can hold, from what I understand, the hopper can hold like 18 pounds of pellets. Uh someone commented on a video today talking about getting a like a small shop back and that's how he uses or that's how he uh switches the pellets out pretty quickly because he you know sucks them out there is an access door or trap doors for gravity to help get the get the pellets out but i'm not pressed i don't know though and nobody cares what you do <laughs> william how you doing Uh oh, Eric Eric on Eric crying. Smoked meatloaf. I've smoked meatloaf and I I ugh. All right, quick story about meatloaf. Give me a second. One, I watched a guy make a meatloaf video today and for whatever reason, like every time I try to smoke meatloaf, it just never turns out right. I did smoke meatloaf on the trigger. I mean, not the trigger on the on Sammy the Big Green Egg not too too long ago, and I just I I don't like meatloaf, uh, but I like smoked meatloaf because it, it's not really smoked meatloaf. It's more like a burger. So maybe what I need to do is some juicy Lucy's. Maybe I'll do that. I figure out the time to build the smokers, uh, Bumpy. Like, definitely. All right, give me a second. Now I gotta go pee on this damn liquid I'm drinking. Okay, sorry. Do, 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 do. Not so efficient. The lid was so light in the metal scene. Really thin compared to the Yoder. <laughs> he said the price is better though. Well, maybe, maybe if you guys, you know, can talk to Yoder and say, Yoder, hey, make Dash a believer. Send him a a Yoder smoker, and I don't know what to do with the the trigger, but I I like it. It, it the 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 door and the metal, the sheet metal that are there, are no thinner than than a I don't say a cheap, but like a a uh, a charbroil you know smoker. Or grill like an offset, so it 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 holds heat like it, it maintains temperature. Like I'm cooking these last cooks have been the highest temperature has been was 35 degrees. The lowest temperature has been was 20, two zero, and it was probably 20 25 degrees off of that the temperature that it was trying to get to, and it just seems like. It was just very cold. Four J's, how you doing, man? <sighs> Sorry. Hey, yep, I did. Uh, 
I've got a Yoder YS640, Lone Star Vertical Offset, and a HBT Wii Gender. What is that? A deck of cards. <laughs> you know what's funny, uh, Quester J? I was in Sam's yesterday, and I was looking at that roast like, man, I think that poor man's burnt ends would probably be super simple on this thing. Jixxer gang. Use <laughs> much as been on Juicy Lucy. No. Uh so I did Juicy Lucy's in the sous vide and my family really liked them. Alright, that's what's up. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chuck. I I know. Don't be ashamed, man. We all had to start somewhere. I still have my first smoker. It's out in the garage. I, I have it tucked away, though. Oh. Man. Oh, I'm down to the to the bottom of the, of the ginger where it's so concentrated and potent. Mm. Oh, goodness. I'm about to pour some more hot water in there. I am breathing better though. Can you hear? But I, I do still need to take the hot and the cold. Juicy Lucy's. All right. <laughs> Jack. Jack, man, you got to hit me up. We got to talk. <laughs> I need to show that first smoker some retro love. Nope. I know better. Well, the first one I inherited, it was something to be ashamed of. Nah, man. Pit and Smits. All right. It's Pit and Spits, rather. I had a uh, that little Coleman, not Coleman, or Brinkman, whatever that little teeny bullet smoker was, that, like, $50 smoker from Walmart that everybody starts on because they're like, I'm getting a smoker, and it's less than 100 bucks. Yeah. My wife bought me that one too. That one, she bought me that one for Father's Day, because I had the grill that I used. I told you guys, I showed you guys that I use for. Um, golly, now I think about it, I've had that grill for seven, eight years maybe. Uh, but so I was doing a lot of indirect cooking, and my wife said, "Oh, you know, you've really been trying to trying hard to do this whole smoking meat thing." You know, I don't quite get it, but I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a help you. And so she got me that little Brinkman smoker. Oh yeah, definitely doing his job, Manny. A new Braunfels smoker Hondo. You know what's funny? I know exactly where new Braunfels is. You don't have a smoker yet? Well, my truck makes a little. <laughs> what kind of truck you have, Quester J? Yep, went through the uh, Oklahoma Joe's phase and loved it. Yep. Yeah, well, when you put the video on YouTube, let me know. Actually, Jack, let's see. I'm going to subscribe to your channel right now. I can remember. How to find what I am looking for. Hey, if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, just to plug that real quick. <clears throat> Gosh. I, I really, it, it, it trips me out. Uh, every time. Let's see. You guys come on and do this, you know, go to the live stream and such. All right. Yes. Jack, I'm waiting for you to put up a video now. All right, the Toyota. I get old fans from customers' houses all the time. Being an electrician, thinking about trying to turn one 
the rotisserie. Scared from the. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Let's see. Nope. Ah, uh, looks like a... Ah, uh, looks like a... It's a Chevy truck. I can't tell if it's a 1500. Nope, this is two doors, so it's probably like um, Tahoe or... Some, this is not long enough for a Suburban. Uh... I see two door, four doors. Well, I see a front door and a back door, so that that leads me to believe it's an SUV. Um, and I see your profile picture. That's a red Camaro. Okay, I see what you did there, Bumpy. <clears throat> Actually has stuff out there though. Let's see. Bumpy, where are you? Oh yeah, you know what? I did look at your channel. I looked at this West Coast nights and East Coast mornings video and cracked up. You were lit. <laughs> lit. <laughs> lit. <laughs> lit. All right, first pet peeve, turn your phone the other way, please. Uh, musical Goat, how you doing? Video that I was trying to upload. Let's see. And oh. for whatever reason, it's not allowed me to. So um, what, I, what I'm doing is I'm putting the link um, down below. Click on the link. It will put you to um, the video. Actually, take it to my Facebook page where the video is. Oh, content not found. Be able to watch the video. Um, comment, like, um, just take That's what's up. hit the link, and take it to a real video that I did uh, front to back on doing ribs. Um, Bumpy Cooks. Man, we gotta get your links straightened out. <clears throat> I was here. The video was not. <laughs> <laughs> I get I I dish it as well as I could take it. <laughs> I did try to go to the link. The link popped up and said that the um that hold on let me click it again and see tell you exactly what it says. Uh, content not found. The page you requested cannot be displayed right now. It may be temporarily unavailable. The link you clicked on may be broken or expired. It says something about a story. Story, and then it gave a big number. Or don't, or uh, you may not have permissions to view it. So, no problem. Let me know when, well, you don't have to let me know. Hopefully, I will see... Uh, in my subscription feed um, when you put up a new video. Anybody else out there want to? <clears throat> I am, Joaquin, oh, Joaquin has already gone to bed. Joaquin uh, has sent me some videos that he puts out there and I am tough, but I'm fair when I look at other folks' videos. Because the whole thing is I want you guys to put out your best work. I want you guys to level up. So in order for me to help you level up, I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys and tell you the things that I see and I like I don't and I don't and or I don't like. So, but I'm just, you know, I'm just a little guy. I'm just me. Uh, but man. All right, no problem. So let's see. He said, you want to do a live stream with me? All right, this is what I'm going to do. 
Let's go to your channel. I know you don't have anything out there because I checked earlier. Most of the time when you guys hit me up, I have already been to your channels um, and I've poked around and, and looked at things and other things like that. So, and I, I do, like, I do my due diligence when you guys comment on stuff and I'm like, who is this person? Or if you follow me on Instagram, how many of you guys are following me on Instagram? If you are following me on Instagram, you know that I don't always follow everyone back. Uh, and that's just because if you don't have anything out there, I won't say worth me looking at, but if you don't have anything out there, then I was like, oh, wow, you know what? Man, that, that's worth a subscription or a follow. I don't. Uh, <laughs> Tom says he'll have something like a video. <laughs> um, Eric, man, you take great care, sir. Thank you, as always, for hanging out. Uh, William says, got a soft spot for frozen burritos. Bumpy, definitely, you know, like I said, I, I have been to your channel. Um, uh, again, let's see. You had another video out there. This one is 13 minutes long. And hey, the phone is the wrong way. It's your boy Bumpy here. Um, Again, that's just me though. Quick, quick if I were looking at it from my phone, I could turn my phone the same vertical way that you were that you filmed this. Uh, Basically, what I have done so far, let's set that right there. What I've done so far, these were some um, so link cords that I had made early. The Charles, how you doing this evening? Uh, so one of the things too, when you do a video uh, horizontal. Uh, horizontally and not vertically you can fit more of what you're looking at like what you need to focus people on uh which is like the main thing as to why you would want to have it that way in my opinion as opposed to the other way now of course it makes it easier for you to have something that you're talking about and your face and your head in the video if you have it vertically but that's just me again and, hey, if you haven't already, please hit that uh, thumbs up so button for me. I'd yeah, greatly appreciate it. Swig and Smoke, how you doing, Charles? Me, uh, Hello. Good I, evening. You know, I took the skin off the thighs. I took the skin on the drumsticks. And I kind of just cut it up real quick. All right. You know, just like a rough chop, as they say. And I got a couple chunks here. So in order for me to, like, out. how I get through more videos is you turn up the speed. So there's the gig, a gift and a curse about doing that. Uh, the good thing is you get through them faster. The bad thing is sometimes you miss things. About a tablespoon, I'm gonna say a tablespoon and a half of the margarine. About a tablespoon. Tablespoon about a tablespoon and a half of margarine. So. And about a tablespoon. Bumpy. I can tell you from experience, in the beginning, you're going to want to have yourself like a piece of paper with a timeline or things that you want to talk about. Have I fired up the trigger yet? Yeah, man. I've almost gone through the first 30-pound bag of of uh, pellets I have. Nice. Nice. I would love to get the snooze. Landscape versus portrait, definitely. You, you want to go landscape uh, when... Again, to me, you want to go last eight. It's landscape when doing video. Take a sharpie and brush it through your beard. Thanks. Uh, no, it won't. My barbecue gave me these grays. Miguel. Goodness gracious, heading back to California. Ah. No problem. Nothing much, 4J. So, uh, if you haven't, look up Bumpy Smoke and Soul. Bumpy, say hi to everybody. Everybody, Bumpy. I'm doing a about a half more margin with it. So, that's what's up. Okay. 
So again, what I'm doing here is I'm uh, making a rope. And so, be right back after I put it together. <laughs> Alright, so I have this together. This is, again, I'm making. Wow. Seriously, Hex? I mean, if that's what you gotta do. Now, I wanna show you this part. So, once you put your flour Quick and your mug, curry your chicken. Flour, your oil, start your room, here comes, here comes your, let's make sure you can get here comes your curry. And I'm going to, so let's just say I'm putting about uh, two tablespoons of curry in here now. Yeah. Looks good, man. So far. You can see it looks good. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm making a curry gravy. Hmm. Or, like I said, some curry sauce. You can use any curry sauce that you want. If you can use any curry sauce that you want, I'm going to So, what's funny is when you were talking about. It's basically a curry gravy. I'm like, you're making the roux and you're putting curry in it. And I was thinking, it's going to be like a gravy. All right. So, you start, it's going to start for maybe about a good minute. And all you're doing is making sure your butter and your flour and your curry season is all well put together. And now, Toto Bain. Brasileiro, Toto Bain. Uh, it's Serg Vader. No, nothing much. We were talking earlier. I wasn't, I'm not feeling 100%. So I actually made some ginger tea. I think I might re up on it. No, I do not. I don't speak much Portuguese. I can ask you, how are you doing? You know, it's funny, though. I can say, Feliz Natal, okay? And I can, I can count, I count a good, good bit. But I know how to ask if you speak Portuguese. That's, like, the extent of my Portuguese. And then, like I said, Feliz Natal and... There's some things that I can say in Portuguese because they're similar, so similar to Spanish. Mm. My hot water is not as hot, and I'm okay with that. Feliz Natal to you too. Uh, I used to work at a beer and wine store, and there were... Uh, Brush. Oh. Feliz Natal. Okay. Not Natal. Okay. Stop walking past my house. Hmm. Mm. Now I have warm water, Ginger. Well, thank you. Obrigado. Yeah, I know, I know that one pretty good too. Obrigado. Uh, when I go to Fogo, and you know, I sit down. There's, there's guys that they know me in there because we've been. My wife and I have been. My wife has been taking me to Fogo for 13, 14 years. Uh, Fogo de Chao, and all right. Sabe came a Bolsonaro. I don't know what that means. I don't really, I don't speak much Portuguese. Yo falo un poquito Portuguese. Uh, really. Todo bem. Bente. Or Vigi. Uh, I used to work the beer and wine store. Bolsonaro. Uh, anyway, uh, Bolsonaro, there is, there's somebody that comments 
on my videos who is in, uh, I don't think he's in Sao Paulo, but he's in Brazil. Um, did I see Bungo Sobroso? Is that who you're talking about? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Bolsonaro. But I know there is uh, there is a guy um, that comments, but I don't believe it's him. I don't believe that name you're saying. Afghanistan. Jeez. Military. James. Gosh. It's got to be like 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh. Okay. Contractor, keep your head down. <laughs> oh, 800, all right. That's not too, too bad. Oh. You know what? I have heard of Bolsonaro. That's why that name sounds familiar. Um, He won in the election, and <laughs> they said that Bolsonaro was like a Brazilian equivalent to Trump. Caden, how you doing? James, thank you so very much for hanging out and uh, watching my videos. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm sure you probably have lots of, well, I'm hoping you have lots of downtime and free time in order to uh, watch the barbecue videos. I think you commented on a video not too long ago saying that when you got back into the, to the country, you would be getting a smoker or something. I know somebody did not too long ago. I, you know what? This is a good problem to have that I'm starting to lose track of who comments and says what. Eagle Painting, where you been, man? I haven't seen you in the comments in a minute. Uh, Caden, I'm good, sir. I'm good getting ready for Christmas. That's that's all I'm doing. Uh, the trigger is lovely. Uh, <laughs> a misogynist. Yep, a, mis a misogynist. Uh, yeah. Brandon, what's good, sir? Better late than there. Detected at the front door. People driving past. <laughs> If they get too close to the house at night, the lights trigger it. Eagle painting, man, I would, I, I, I wish I could have gotten a bigger one, but I, I just, I'm very, very happy. Nice, Brandon. Mm. Ginger is spicy. Oh, mmm. <laughs> Caden, don't rush it, man. <laughs> don't rush it. <laughs> yeah, I would, if I could turn back time, I know anyone in here that's older than you is like, you know what's crazy? When you're young, you want to be an adult so bad, but when you're an adult, you want to be back a child. And it's so true. Don't rush it. Take your time. Just be careful out there. Mm. I'm not, you know, it's crazy. I'm not sick. Like I, I just, <laughs> uh, I just have, uh, I don't know. I had a little bit of, a little bit of a sore throat, and a little congestion. <laughs> okay, now I already know. The first time I was pulled over, I think I was 14. No BS. Brandon, yes. Um, I have, I've done four cooks on that thing so far. Um, I've cooked, uh, chicken thighs, I've cooked, uh, beef ribs, 
I've smoked some salmon and then I've done some chicken wings. So yeah. <laughs> Uncle's the county sheriff. I'm sure that helps. Yep. And that that's it. Uh, I, I definitely don't want to get sick, so I'm proactively doing things like this tea. Yo, this, this ginger tea is banging. <laughs> Man, I was, was it 90? Yeah, it was 94. It was a blizzard of 94. And I was moving my aunt's car off of the block to put it onto the major street at the top of the block. And she was like, I'm not coming out there in that cold. She threw me the keys to her car. I'm like, bet. So I drove the car and the whole thing was... I hadn't given the car enough time to warm up and uh, it it shut off on me and when it shut off I was like in the middle of the street and this cop just so happened to be driving past and it was funny because you know like she stopped behind me because the car was off and I didn't know what to do um, I didn't know at the time that when a car shuts off and you have it in drive, you can't start it back up. You have to put it in neutral or in park, and this is all automatic. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I'm fiddling and trying to figure out how to start the car. And then she pulls around me to or next to me and she looks over and she stops. And she said, what are you doing? I said, I had to move my aunt's car. She said, how old are you? And I'm like, <laughs> 14 she said why are you in that car i said i had to move my aunt's car she said well, where's your aunt i said she's right down the street why isn't your aunt out here i said do you see the snow <laughs> she said put that car over there on the curb i said okay so i put the car in the park when she started talking to me because i didn't want it to roll away and uh I, I drove parked it and she walked me back down to my aunt's house my aunt fussed the cop out for for, for for making me not finish doing what I, what she told me to do. It was, it was funny. Anyway, uh, Brandon says you're cooking prime rib steaks, baked potatoes, and salad. Going to go the extra mile and throw in some good old ribs. So that can be a good idea or a bad idea, Brandon. Um, I'm going to give you a word of caution. I used to do things like that where I, I did a time or two when I would have an event and I would be like, oh, I'm just gonna do a rack of ribs. And then people start to expect that. So be careful doing like doing extra extra things and throwing in extra things because that person will remember that they got a rib that they didn't pay for before they remember how good your food was. Excuse me, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I try not to give things away uh, when it comes to events and things like that, because people, yeah. Hey man, thank you very much. Nice seeing you too. I am going to definitely, and I am, I'm already enjoying the trigger, like definitely. Okay. Well, Brandon, like I said, just a precaution. That's all. That That's, that's all. I'm just warning you. People start to expect things. <laughs> the six liter doesn't run on dreams. That's for that going short, man. Uh -huh. No problem, Brandon. I mean, George, how you doing? Yeah, but you know what, Chuck? That's that's a little different. Um, if you ha if you're already cooking and someone brings you something that will fit in a smoker and it's not going to impede what you're cooking, then sure, that's that. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Bumpy. I think we have talked a time or two before. You on the other side of the city, George. I am great, sir. I am great. Well. I'm at like 90%. I'm a little congested. But I had some ginger tea. Banging. Banging. <clears throat> Shh. 
trying to catch up on the comments. Kaden, you funny. Nothing. Nothing's new with me. Well, I got a new grill. Uh, my wife hooked it up. She got me a trigger. Uh, George, I don't know if you saw that on Instagram. <laughs> Ten beers. Wow. Hopefully they were eight ounce. Uh, eight ounce ponies. Caden, we're not talking about that at all. Motion detected at the front door. Just somebody walking past. It's D E M. Yeah. <laughs> oodles and noodles. Nah, man. Well. If it's oodles and noodles for dinner for you, ain't never wrong with that. Yeah. How was that boat trailer uh, going, George? I'm checking school again this weekend. It sold out last weekend. Ooh. Nice. Brandon, that's what's up, man. <laughs> Tonight for dinner, I had, uh, we went, to, I had to go to the mall, like, my wife wanted to go to the mall and do some, get some things for us prior to our trip, and, um, we ate at the food court, I had Moe's, it was pretty good, I had a burrito, I usually don't, like, there's no Moe's not too, there's a Moe's not too far away, but it's not my go-to spot. <laughs> Uh, a bologna sandwich. <laughs> Kills a cold, me too. Made OJ, that's what's up. Homemade pimento cheese on top of big hamburger steak. I, you know what? Pimento cheese is just something I can't get down with either. Like, it really must be. detected at the front door. It's just the car going past. I can hear it. <clears throat> it must be a I won't say a South Carolina thing, but I don't I don't get it. I don't dig it. Oh, Brandon, I know. You we we you know we have some trips that we, we take and we do not the same trips all the time, but we, we go down to Myrtle Beach pretty frequently and palmetto everything. <clears throat> nice. That's what's up, Caden. <laughs> no. So Moe's is a uh, uh it's Moe's Southwest Grill, I think the full name is. But it's burritos, tacos, quesadillas, burrito bowls. Uh, it was pretty good. It was good. Um, but Tom, you know, I don't know if I told you, but I, my first real job was at Models. I worked for Models for <clears throat> three and some change years. Gotta go to Moe's. <laughs> uh. Man, Quester J, shoot. You be on your mad meal prep, John. All right, William says he can only dig the jalapeno pimento cheese. <laughs> yep, not that Moe's, <laughs> William. Caden, don't worry about it. Even at shoot, oh my gosh, I had to put fuel in my in my van. I put a hundred and forty dollars in it in the past week. Actually. Probably closer to a little closer to 150. Um, I used it to to do a pinball run and uh, pick up machines and 
it was down to what? Like a, it was it was down to like showing E almost, and it cost me seventy three or seventy four dollars to fill it up at like two dollars and fifty cents a gallon, and then I drove it, came back, and. I put in another $70 or so once I was finished with my run. <laughs> Brandon, I stopped at Waffle House on my way back from uh, bringing this pinball machine. I took it down to Richmond. Oh, man. Brandon, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I have a diesel... So, my diesel, uh, my car, and my, my van, actually, I filled up the van on Monday morning, and it was two fifty a gallon, so two fifty one, you know, like two fifty one nine, or excuse me, two fifty nine, two five zero, 250 and then nine, 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 and then on Tuesday, was it? Yeah, it was yesterday morning I went and got gas, or excuse me, fuel in my car uh, because it, again, is a diesel, and it was $2.55. I was pissed. I'm like, man, it's five cents more than it was yesterday. <laughs> Definitely been... Who's crying? Not me. I knew what I signed up for when I got the big old truck. And I commute in my car, so I love the fact that I'm driving a diesel car. You know, I can get 600 miles out of a tank <coughs> in the car and the, and the, uh, the, uh, the van easily. 600 plus miles, maybe. Oh, I know. You got an avalanche. Your avalanche? Woo, I can't imagine. Oh, that's good. I, oh, I thought it was an avalanche, but close enough. <laughs> Buttercups. <laughs> <laughs> Caden says he can get 10 miles on a rev out of his tank. You know what's nuts? Driving a van, driving Vanna at 75, I was getting 13 miles, 12 or 13 miles per gallon. I slowed down to 65, like between 65 and 70. I got almost 20 miles per gallon. Oh. Like, seriously. Hmm. Brandon, I'm sure you could tell me some stories, man. How about this? I'll tell you what my 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 go-to uh Waffle House order is, and you can you can tell me what you think. 03 2500 HD. It's like 14. Yeah, nah. I need to, I'm a I'm a diesel guy. Alright, so Brandon, I get uh meat lovers, chicken and eggs. Come on. <clears throat> Come on, camera. I get a meat lover's chicken and eggs. I get my hash brown smothered covered in the top. I get cinnamon raisin toast. And then I get a waffle. Uh when I'm with the when that's just by myself. When I'm with the family, I'll get a double waffle and then my daughter usually gets my waffle gets my second waffle to save a little bit of money. But I I, I got a thing for the chicken and, and at Waffle House and Man, I was so excited when I was driving south. I was like, man, I'm just driving. I was driving. I was driving. I was driving. And I was, when I saw the Waffle House on 95, where I was, I was like, man. Brandon, what, something good or something bad about the Waffle House chicken? Uh, 
He said, out hipstering you all in this Volvo 240. Yep, you might be right. Ah, man. My aunt used to have a Volvo. So, some of my stories talk about my aunt. My aunt used to live in Well, not used to. My aunt lived next door. Yep. Brandon, and it, it's got so much flavor in this. It looks, it looks plain as the underside of my hand. But there is so much flavor in that chicken. It is delicious. Definitely delicious. You're absolutely right. I don't know what they put in it either. Maybe you should go. Excuse me. Maybe you should go back. Caden <laughs> got jokes, man. It does look plain as my hand. What, um, Brandon, am I lying? Uh, charging for food. I did a video about that. Hopefully that answers your question. If it doesn't, you know, feel free, man. Uh, Quest of J, thank you, sir. Twenty pounds of shrimp. Good man. What, Brandon? Yo, they'll do that for you? Uh, I'm not putting bacon on it. Caden <laughs> is going to ham with the Ford jokes tonight. I mean, come on, son. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, enough. Oh, yeah, this cook was capable. I mean, it was just me <laughs> in the store. Like, I walked in, and the dude that was, uh, it was my waiter uh, who was working the, the counter, I guess. He was just, he was sitting down like, oh, hey. Welcome to Waffle House. I'm like, thanks. Sat at the bar, sat down, and placed my order. Again, meat lover's uh, chicken. And eggs, eggs over hard, have to be over hard. Like, I'll eat a rare steak, but can't eat runny eggs. I know. Uh, over hard and scattered, smothered, and topped. Man, talk about goodness. <clears throat> oh, boy. William, you piggybacking off of this, too? Found on road dead? Yeah, uh-huh. Over well. Cheese egg soup for a guy. He wanted, like, the cheese. What? What? Ah. Ah. <laughs> Detected at the front door. I saw that, uh, Shannon. I heard that. Uh, thank goodness we don't uh, we don't get a whole bunch of Jimmy Dean sausage. But when I heard that ad, it, it reminded me of the. You guys remember that that video where the guy called into Jimmy Dean and, and he left the voicemail, and he was so irate that he was so upset at the fact that they changed the size of the package. Nope, I don't do pork. Uh, but they, he was so irate, and he was talking about how I bet I. He, it's, it's, he was talking about how much he loved Jimmy Dean sausage, but he had a family of five to feed, and his family of five couldn't survive off of this uh, twelve ounce pack of sausage as opposed to the to the normal sixteen ounce uh, pack of sausage. Oh, I know. Uh, Brandon, you know it's funny when the, I've been going to the Waffle House so long and I've been ordering the same thing so long. The dude didn't give me any jelly, and I know that it was supposed to have been apple butter because of the fact that I got. I think it's because I got cinnamon raisin toast or something. But I usually get like apple, not apple. Is it apple butter or apple something? 
I don't know. Uh, yeah. Shannon, I know it has gelatin in it, quite possibly, but I just don't eat the meat. Uh. <laughs> Brandon, I told you, man. I, I'm telling you. I could, I, you know what is even funnier? I have called my order to the cook at times. You know, I talk about, you know, meat lovers chicken, uh, over hard, waffle on two, because usually my wife and I get one. Uh, so, geez. Uh, William, jelly's got deliciousness in it too. Go ahead and put that down. And I am a bigger fan of jam than I am jelly. All right, Kaden, you too, man. Tell her I said to uh, shine up her four badge accordingly. No problem, Shannon. What do I mean? Deep down, she likes Fords. Gavron T. She's just telling you she likes Chevys. <laughs> Whatever you do, please don't call it jelly. Pass the Pollyanna all fruit. <laughs> Yep, pull three chicken, drop two hash browns, scattered, covered, smothered, uh, scattered, smothered, and topped. Jam. <laughs> there's a there's a video of a guy. Oh man, I can't even think of his name. Wax. That's the rapper's name. He kind of put out. Uh, breakfast spot in Philly. Bring your own beer. It was awesome. It's probably, um, like they played jazz in there too. Warm Daddies? I think that's probably what you're talking about. <clears throat> Another car. With diddly wah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no. My computer wants to restart. I hate when my machine restarts. <laughs> Dodge the dad. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> Not gonna repeat it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Hey, gentlemen. Any ladies in the on the live stream? I would love to say hi. It's a fifty-four or four by four long bed, seven three. It was a beast. I'm loving the. You know, I'm loving uh, Vanna. Okay. I don't know. There's, you know, I'm sure. I don't know every single place in Philadelphia. You know what's even crazier? It's like stuff has changed since since we've been away. I've been away from Philly for shoot, 15 years. Oh, man. I've been away from Philly since, oh, one. I moved down to Maryland in 01. Anyway, all right, guys, it's been two hours. I really want to thank you guys so very much again for hanging out with me. I know that tonight it was all over. I mean, getting up a whole bunch to make tea, that's the first. The ginger, though, Mammy, if you're still here, good luck for reminding me about getting some ginger. It was well worth the getting up and slicing it up. Kept an egg pan for the Waffle House as a party gift. I mean, those pans that they use, they, they seem to be pretty sturdy. I mean, shoot. Brandon, I need some, I need some Waffle House 
waffle mixture. How about that? Yep, Tom. Yep. Yeah, I highly recommend. I put a lot of ginger in there. I mean, this is the remnants of my cup. Um, and I'm like, I could probably make some more, like heat up the water again and, and make some more tea. <clears throat> but again, I just really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I, I, yeah. Yep. Definitely see you guys. So just as a quick reminder, there will not be a live stream next Wednesday. I will be away. So I will try to have something up that goes up about the same time so that, you know, I can be like, hey, sorry, just a reminder, no live stream tonight. But thank you guys again, as always, for hanging out. I really, really, really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button for me. I appreciate that as well. Bumpy, put up some more videos, man. I'm, I'm subscribed, so I'm going to watch, all right? Promise you that. I do watch videos. I don't always comment. I do watch a lot, though. Uh, so, those things being said, I'm out for real. Deuces. I'll see you guys in two weeks, all right?